Hey everyone, how's it going? Lance here. In this video, I want to answer a commonly asked question I get. And the, a lot of people ask me, Lance, should I shave my head before I have my hair transplant procedure? So I have a unique perspective on this because uh, what I'm going to do is I'm just going to share my experience. I'm not going to tell you, shave your head, you'll get a better result, or don't shave your head, it'll give you a worse result. I'm just going to share my experience. So when I had my first procedure back in 2014, I did not shave my head. Uh, I work in a professional office setting. I wasn't sure whether or not they'd even let me wear a hat. So I didn't want to have to wear a covering on my head longer than I needed to having to work in an office. So I did not shave my head for my first procedure. And the surgery took about seven hours to do, go around and maneuver around my existing hair. And I found that come day nine, the grafts come off. Day 10, my sutures come out. After the grafts and the sutures came out, I didn't have to wear a covering on my head. Granted, the hair in the back around the suture line was a little short, so I had to get a haircut uh, later on to blend everything in together. But, you know, come day 10 after the sutures are out, I look perfectly normal. The only thing you may have noted, would have noticed is that the area where the grafts were placed looked a little red. So that's, that's kind of the pro and con of, you know, if you don't shave your head, the surgery will take longer. But the pro to that is that you don't have to wear a covering on your head longer than after your sutures come out. Now, for my second procedure that I had a year ago in November, I decided to shave my head. Buzz the entire frontal third of my head, including the temporal peaks. And I found that when the uh, surgeon has a clear path to place and plant all the grafts, the surgery goes a lot faster. My second procedure took maybe five and a half hours to do because he didn't have to maneuver around my existing hair. The issue I had, though, was that after, you know, the grafts come out, you have to wait another two days to for your sutures to come out. So this whole frontal third of your head is shaved, the hair in the back is long, so then after your sutures come out, you have to shave the rest of your head to match the front. And I found that, you know, once I buzzed the rest of my head to blend in where the front was buzzed, my suture line was exposed, so I ended up having to wear a hat longer than I would have preferred. So it wasn't until, so if my second procedure was on November 11th, 2015, it honestly wasn't until about Christmas time where my hair finally grew long enough to cover up the scar. So pros and cons of, you know, shaving your head for the surgery is the pro is that the surgery is going to go a lot faster and that's generally what the doctor prefers. However, you're going to have to end up wearing a covering on your head because your scar is going to be exposed and it's going to take a while for your natural hair that wasn't transplanted to grow back. So if you decide to shave your head, uh, that's what the doctor prefers, but you'll have to wear a longer covering or a covering on your head longer than you would probably prefer don't shave your head, the surgery is going to take longer, but then once your sutures come out, you'll look like nothing even happened. So uh, my, my advice, you know, consider the type of work environment you, uh, you have to stay in or what you work in. If they'll allow you to wear a covering on your head, obviously the doctor will tell you that he prefers it, but it's no biggie. He should be able to maneuver around your existing hair if you decide not to shave your head. Uh, in my case, if I were to somehow need a third strip procedure at some point, I probably would not shave my head. So I don't want to sway you one way or the other. That's just my experience. So I hope uh, this can give you an idea of what to expect or what to uh, consider if you decide to have a hair transplant surgery.